Today we are talking test equipment that you probably don't have. What's up my friends? I am Dustin Stelzer with Electrician U. Uh, so I have a huge collection of test equipment, like everything from line locators to megers to multimeters to follow potential meters to boroscopes. There's all kinds of stuff that I've got. Klein is definitely sponsoring this. You can see a uh, theme to the color of all of these uh, with the exception of this one tool. Thank you Klein for sending all of these in. So let's break into this. Some of the kind of weird stuff that you may not be using out in the field or that you may not come across but is extremely helpful. Um, let's start out with the simple ones. So I like to carry one of these little things around me. This is essentially just a miniature voltage tester. There's no other settings, there's no resistance setting, there's no amperage, there's no clamp, anything like that. Um, but a lot of people carry around a tick tracer and I don't like using those because they can lie to you and if you don't really know what the situation is and how it's reading back, you might think something is one way and it's not, you can get hurt. So I like to use an actual miniature voltage tester and I keep this thing in my pocket when I'm just going, uh, you know, walking into a place. I don't have to bring all my tools and have a multimeter and everything with me. I just keep one of these in my pocket so I just have the ability to test voltage all the time. This thing is really cool. This is the Klein ET310. Um, it's a transmitter and a receiver. This just looks like a regular plug tester, but this is a wand and you can plug this in in a circuit and you can go around with this wand at an electrical panel and you can figure out which circuit is which. So if you're having a difficult time out in the field identifying which breaker or which circuit something is on, this transmits a signal and this receives it wirelessly. Well, I guess not wirelessly, it's still sending a signal through a wire, uh, but it sends a signal and you can figure out which breaker is which. So that's a really awesome meter to have. Next up on weird things that you might not have is a thermal imager. So this thing is uh, essentially a screen version of a thermometer. So a thermometer usually, like you'll see some that are like guns too, Klein has some, um, where it reads a temperature to you so you can scan something and see what the temperature is. This is a little bit more enhanced. So this will actually see heat signatures on the screen. So you can go and point this at conductors or at a breaker or anything and it'll show you on the screen where the hot signatures for everything are. So if you have a breaker that's really hot, if you have switches or plugs or something that's really hot and you're trying to figure out like where is the hottest point on this where there's probably a problem, you can actually use this to figure that out. That's a really dope thing to have. Next up, this is just a regular multimeter. Um, but for those of you that are kind of new to this, there's multiple styles of testers. So one thing, this is called a digital multimeter. Anytime you see something that looks like this, where there's all kinds of crazy settings and dials and knobs and stuff like that, the style of this kind of meter is a DMM or a digital multimeter. Something that looks like this is actually called a tester. Some people will call it a voltage tester, but it tests more than that. It's just a tester, so call it a tester. What makes this tester unique is that it has this jaw. It has these this, uh, this amp probe or amp clamp on it. Um, there's little lines right here, so you essentially have a conductor and you're trying to figure out how much current's flowing on that conductor and you just go right to the top of it and it'll read to you. So a clamp on ammeter is something that I think a lot of people ha should have if you don't have one, if you just have like a regular tester that doesn't have the clamp on portion. They also make uh, several versions of these where the clamp is like huge because if you've got multiple like really big conductors um, and you need to be able to get your jaws around that, some of these huge conductors you wouldn't be able to fit around this. So they do make different variations of it. Next thing we're gonna talk about is a boroscope. So boroscopes are really awesome. It's essentially just a little handy tool that has a camera on the end of it. So a lot of times as electricians, we can't see in walls, we can't see in conduit, there's problems that we come across. So being able to stick something like this up a wall to see what you're running into or where a hole is or what's going on inside of a wall is an extremely useful to have, uh, thing to have. There is a light function. As you can see, when you turn it on, there's actually a light and that helps out a lot when you're in a dark environment, sticking something up a wall or into a piece of conduit, having a light at the front is a really useful thing. This one Bluetooths to your phone. So there's actually a client app that you download on your phone and you can see in real time, you can record video, you can take snapshots, everything, it saves it within the app. So boroscopes come in handy quite frequently in walls, <laughs> for me specifically in walls. 
All right, the next meter that you probably don't have is a Megger. And they're not even called Megger's. Megger used to be a brand, um, but it's a mega ohm meter or a megometer. A lot of people say mega ohm meter, it's megameter. So a Megger is pretty much just like any other digital multimeter, except for it doesn't just test resistance values, it can send a signal. It can send a high voltage signal through a conductor and it can detect whether or not there's any leakage happening, whether or not there's any damage to something and current is getting out and escaping somewhere. So a Megger, a lot of times uh, if you run underground conduit and you run like really big conductors and it's a hard pull, smart thing to do is always pull your Megger out and test the conductors that you've run once you have the you know, uh, either end of it up and you can tell whether or not that wire was damaged during a pull. So it's a really good thing to use a Megger for. Um, motor windings, transformer windings, there's all kinds of things where you can test to see whether the insulation has broken down or, or been compromised at all in a conductor. So a Megger is a really cool tool to have. The last tool that we're gonna talk about is called an earth resistance tester. Um, this is specifically a three-point fall of potential meter. So uh, they make four-point fall of potential meters, three-point fall of potential meters. But basically, this is a tester that will allow you to see what kind of resistance the Earth actually has. So a lot of times you'll hear that uh, we have to have 25 ohms to ground. Like we don't want to have any more resistance when we're having a direct connection from our electrical service to the Earth. We want no resistance if possible. So 25 ohms is kind of a rule of thumb, but it's almost a, an impossible thing to hit consistently depending on where you're at. If you're in sandy soil, if you're in really dry soil and wet soil, rocky soil, depending on if it's caliche. I mean, there's all kinds of different reasons is that, that we, this whole 25 ohms or less thing is really difficult to achieve. But a three point fall of potential meter will allow you to detect in an area what the resistance is to current going into the earth. All right, so that is it for the weird testers that I'm gonna cover for today at least. There's more. Uh, but that's a good a good chunk of them I think I wanted to do a video too on like weird kind of hack tools that I have because electricians have more tools than Anybody else I really do believe that I've said that and thought that a lot But I really think it's accurate by far Electricians have the most amount of tools and bits and things that we keep on us because we do so many things with so many different materials so many different environments so I think I'm gonna do a video where I bring in like a whole bunch of just weird stuff that I keep for those just in case kind of times that I probably don't use often, but every once in a while, it's really good to have on the truck. Oh, and one more thing, make sure that you sign up for our membership. So electricianu.com is officially now a membership-based site. We still have products and stuff that you can buy if you just want some like practice exams or you wanna take a class or continuing education or anything like that. But we've created a membership for everybody that wants to have all of that stuff included. So uh, we have all of our practice exams for our members. You don't have to pay anything extra for them. We have uh, continuing education for free. We have courses every month. We're gonna start dropping a brand new course on our website. Members get all of it for free instead of having to pay for anything. So if you want to become a member, link in the description below. I love you crazy people. See you in the next one. Best can to use it and video.